Hello everyone, this is Daryl20. This is Pahamar. And welcome to episode 16 of Subtech Ages. What's up, buddy? Why are you... What? What? Is there, some, is there something on my face? Always. Uh, I did something between episodes. Uh, I did too. Yeah. Uh, I found that the clay kiln was really annoying, so I automated it. Nice. See? You just put whatever you want smelted in the crate that's in the wall, and it'll drop into the crate in front of it. Yeah. You Super basically easy. did what I was what I was hoping to do. Cool. Well, I did it. Uh, so we're getting charcoal from that, and then I've been putting the charcoal over here. Bing. And then uh, we've got charcoal. Somewhat automated. Uh, in order to make this, by the way, so there's a new... Uh, recipe that I guess either unlocked in H1. So by the way, we did upgrade to 3.07 of the Septag pack. So we went from 304 to 307. So there's been changes uh, in the pack. Um, Loki just announced what I did between episodes. Yeah, was upgrade the pack. Yes, I did. I did yeah. upgrade the pack. You did. I'm telling you, I'm seeing more dogs lately, and I like that. Um, so I don't know if it's as a result of the pack updating or just we didn't notice it when we went to stage one but there's a way cheaper recipe for that flame grilled whopper the the hopper that that's new acts as flame is it new okay um so you need lava wood for it and you have to pour lava over uh wood so i set up over here i used one of the clay barrels we made because this was the only way i could figure out how to pour lava uh over wood and uh in a completely related note i no longer have a clay bucket oh well, I, I just got more lava, so now you have another lava-filled bucket. Oh, cool. Uh, I don't need one right now, but... Uh, I want you to make another flame-grilled whopper. Oh, uh, so it's it's um, it's um for... I looked at the recipe. I was just starting to do it. That's why I went and got the leather. Cool. It's for... It's for... Um, for... For... Lava wood per bucket. So basically four whoppers per lava bucket. Do, do, do. Uh, also, I noticed that uh, he gave us a really nice gift, uh, access to the sentient sword, which is super cool. Like, that was something I was kind of, like, frustrated a little bit, a real lot about, um, a whole lot of frustration around not having that, and now we have it, so I'm super thrilled about that. What's it do? The ascension sword? Yeah. Uh, so you know how you had to throw those rudimentary snares at mobs in order to get the will? Mm -hmm. uh, so the ascension sword applies that effect when you swing the sword at the mob. So pretty much you always, or almost always, will get will when you kill a monster and you don't have to keep crafting the snares. Oh, nice. Yeah. It's also a pretty nice sword. Um, and as you level up in blood magic, ah, you will... Um, oh, I'm getting attacked by rats. You will get... Um, I don't wonder if it's all to kill those. I'm like, what's going on? Why are you not dying faster? Uh, as you level up in blood magic, the sword gets more and more powerful um, and becomes a better weapon. So overall, a nice little gadget. So we've got two things to do today. Um, I, I kind of want to make that sentient sword, but I also, and, and I would love to because that would give me access to like making a blood lamp, which would be cool beans. Uh, but in order to progress and potentially reach age two, we have to start working on astral sorcery, my friend. Yes. Oh, um, you probably also noticed that upgrading the pack now identifies the critical path. Correct. So the purple quests are the ones that are required um, to, uh, to, to proceed to the next stage. Oh, by the way, I talked to Dark Osto between episodes. Oh, that's, that's, that's cool. Yeah, so his... Uh, his answer to why it was hard for us to find aquamarine and black quartz was to get good okay well i didn't have that much trouble finding it once i realized what y levels they were at i just had to find it yep now, now you know now i know and knowing's half the battle it's it's i sometimes i'd even say it's more than half the battle i'd, I'd say it's a great deal of the battle Oh, by the way, did you realize that the stone axe in stage one is the most powerful weapon we have? I've been using the bear claw paxel. Yes, yeah, so the bear claw paxel does not, six hearts of damage, the stone axe does nine, and it doesn't require bear claws. 
Uh, but it also does require a cooldown between swings, and the bear claw paxel does not. I can spam it. Well, look at you. Yeah. Yeah. DPS yeah, is here. not measured only by damage, it is also measured by the swing speed. Uh, exactly. Come on, uh, WoW player. Exactly you should know better. Aren't you, don't you play rogues in WoW? D DPS is exactly measured by damage per second. Yeah. It's, it's a combination of both damage and, and per secondness. You forgot the per second part of that DPS. Oh my goodness, you just. <laughs> Pymar, please. Hey, the uh, backpack you is different. What, what class do you play in WoW? I'm a Moonkin. You're a Moonkin? So you should know all about DPS and casting Space time. Chicken. Space Chicken. So anyway, uh, let's go through purple quests. So uh, next up for me is something to write on. So I'm gonna need parchment. And last episode, we totally found some aquamarine and we need washi, uh, which I need to process out of mulberry bark. So- Oh, did you finally find that? I did, I did. Between episodes, I ran around, and if I have my map on me, I'll, I'll tell you guys where I found it in our world. So according to the tooltip, it's found pretty much in any biome, just super rare. Um, and I think where I found it was like way to the north of us. So like way up here is where I was, and I found some. Uh, I found two trees, and I chopped down uh, the trees, and I got uh, a healthy amount of saplings. Uh, we got six mulberry saplings from that, so... That, that's not where you want it to live forever, right? Uh, no, I need the bark. Um, and I'm learning something today. Well, that's good. You know how you can shift right click with the flint work blade to get bark off of a regular log? Yep. That does not seem to be working on a mulberry wood. Um, just do it more. It's not making the sound effect. So I think I need a saw from Better With Mods to get it. Well, there is one. Yay, Pa, he made a saw. I did. It's I down did, here, I right? Is it, is it near yeah, the turntable table? It's, it's by the water mill. Cool. Go, go to the water mill. Yay. Sweet. All right, now I have to soak this. Um, so, do we have a wooden basin yet? Yeah, you made one. Did I? That's yeah, weird. Here. How do I get um, another clay bucket? I have several. Can I have one? You have one with lava in it. Yes, but when you uh, empty the lava, the bucket is destroyed. You almost wore an axe to the face, by the way. That's cool. I'm down with that. Yeah, when you um when you use the lava, when you pick up lava with a clay bucket, the bucket is destroyed. So so that's a one time use for lava or any hot liquid for that matter. Um, so I made one of those basins. You're right, I did. Okay, cool. So what do I do? Just wooden basin, soaked mulberry wood, wooden basin from Primal Tech. That uh, seems to be doing something. Infinite water is not a thing, is it? Not yet. Not yet? It becomes a thing? Is well, in thing? river biomes, you get it for free. Like, it's okay. removable. Um, so we can actually get water up to us with a bunch of screw pumps, but we need more black quartz for that. Okay. I'm probably going to want to use two of those black quartz to make a black quartz sword, which is an ingredient for that thing that I said I wanted. So how long does this take to soak mulberry wood? Well, we're gonna need to go get more black quartz then, aren't we? Probably. So once I've soaked it, then I'm going to want to dry it and I get mulberry pulp. So we have a bunch of drying wax over here still, right? Nice. So maybe this will be a, a, a multitasking episode. So if I wanna do that, let's do Ascension Sword, because I totally want one of these. Um, so I need bronze, Blue dye powder, shadow fragment, and ash. So do we sell some shadow fragments? We have shadow gem shards, which I think will get me a shadow I wonder fragment. What if this will work? And a grindstone. 
That's this guy, right? So you grind that up into uh, a fragment. Do the thing. And I know I did these before, but so grindstone with blue tinsel lily, or pretty much any bluish flower. Oh, I think I know what's going on. Do I? Have to... Oh, we have a giant magma monster by our base, by the way. He's cool. He's he cool did, looking, dude. Yeah. Oh, look, I have to right-click the wooden basin. That's cool. It spins it. Hey, I did the thing! Okay, cool, so that's not just, like, sit there and wait. It actually... That's pretty nifty. Multitasking, guys, don't mind me. Killing monsters, washing wood. Beautiful. I'm going to dry... my stuff. Uh, and then back to the Sentient Sword. So I need some bluish looking... Alright, cool. I automated the grill. Nice, dude. Because it's a... Uh, you can't cook with the kiln. But you can also do stone this way. Purple lupin flowers, salvia... So now we have a quick way to do a bunch of stone. Nice, bro. You know me? Oh, wow, that's a lot of dogs. Kill them all. I want all the dogs. Like, my greatest fear is losing these boots. Is grape hyacinth a blue flower? It is a blue flower. Nice. Uh, you're good. stuck in the ooze. I am? No, the wolves. I okay. still hear more. I just killed four of them. And all oh. I got was a single pelt. Not cool, dude. Yeah, they are they are stingy with their pelts. For some reason, they don't like to be separated from their skin. Yep. Wow. Did you have to? What? That got dark, man. I'm just saying. Bronze and ash. Okie dokie then. Um, can I make ash in this thing or do I have to smelt it if I'm not going to use that thing? Uh, the furnace will make it or the stone grill will make it. The furnace costs fuel, but oh well, whatever. That is super cool to have those automated though. Get back to our horsies. All right, so that should make me a gem. Nice, another petty tartaric gem. Now how much minimum will zero? Nice, so that's cool. So then I can get a quartz sword. You did get quartz, right? I'm gonna steal two of them if I may. Where is the quartz? I used it all. Just because we got it doesn't mean I still have it. Did you really use all of it? We didn't get that much. We didn't get that much? I didn't get that much. It's better. All right, I'm, I'm guessing I'm going to the beneath. Yeah. Hold on, there's something I want to do there to, to actually like do that, because that's one of the things I talked to Dark Ghost about. Okay, what's that? So he gave me tips on how to mine it. Ooh. How to mine quartz? You left click it with a, with a, with a pick. Oh, you are just so wonderful. <laughs> Uh, I believe it is below Y level 20 on average, right? So if you dig down yes. or get below 20, you should be cool. Yes, yeah, so what I'm doing is I'm getting a dousing rod and I'm going to go strip mine. I have a dousing rod. Yeah, the one I made. Yeah, that's great. Does a good job. By the way, the, uh, the, the, when you get to the bottom of the cobblestone structure you built, it is Y level, uh, 23. It's almost like I planned it. I'm I'm pretty sure you didn't plan the floor.
But to be fair, I brought literally exactly precisely one torch with me. So I did not come mm -hmm. super prepared. Yeah, I noticed that. That it's almost like I was preparing to go and do this this episode. If you want to go get quartz, be my guest. I just need two. I was about to. Okay. I assume I need two. I actually don't know that I need two. Yeah, I just need two. I mean, you're welcome to get it yourself. I was just gonna go dig her a little bit, and but then also this is boring, so I'll let you do it. Oh well, thanks. No problem, buddy. Hey, look, I don't want to take all the boring jobs. <laughs> Are you at our base? Yes, let me guess. Can you just look at the, the things on the side of the house and tell me if they look like they've dried? Hold on. Dealing with a zombie, a wolf, and a skeleton. I found quartz. I'm happy I'm coming home. What'd you do? Just smelt the stuff in the... Furnace? Uh, grind it and then smelt it. Uh, it looks like it's dry. Cool. I'll be right there to collect it. Are you an angry dire wolf or just a normal dire wolf? You're growling. Why do we have so many hostile mobs now? I'm guessing the pack update. But I also noticed that, yes, that like hostile mobs seem to be uh, frequenter. Frequenter? Yep. You're good English. That's that word I just said. Oh, look at you. You did that. Nice job, Pahi. Yeah, there's definitely a lot more than that. One of the other things I wanted to work on was... Oh, yeah, you also noticed that I made this easier to do, too. The wood. Uh... It's not the Primal Tech chest anymore, it's actual chests. Oh, cool. So you don't need to like jump out and do like silly bouncing? Yeah, yeah, no, that's definitely cool. Alright, I guess Alright, so there's going. a few extra uh, black boards. I think three extras. But this is enough for me to make my sentient sword. But then in the meantime, I also want to get these guys. Alright, so then you, Mulberry Pulp, can turn into Mulberry Sheets which then are pressed into washi and we're good to go. So that is mulberry sheets and then you get pressed. Okay. Actually, you know what, while I'm here. And then I need four of these for parchment. So I actually need it's to get all that much effort to, wood. uh, what am I looking for? Where are the chests? Let's go. get uh, those saplings I got. Maybe they're all used up. It's not all that much more effort to finish up the uh, bah, 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 the intake hopper yeah. for the grinder. This is what the trees look like, by the way, guys. Very yellow. They stand out for sure. Although I actually want a chest with it too, so I need more wood. And saplings don't seem to be uncommon. So once you find one, just make sure to get the saplings and you'll be good. Oh, you got mulberry saplings too? Yes. Yeah, I made it a point. They don't seem to be particularly rare. You get on average two to three per, per tree for a normal sized tree. Sorry, well, this because it was such an annoyance to find the tree. I'm like, yeah, I'm definitely gonna grab any saplings I can. So like that tree, I just got five saplings out of. So yeah, it's definitely not. Apparently, buffalo are faster. Than these but yeah, Because now it also has a hopper set up. Sweet. By the way, if you stand in front of that saw, it hurts a little bit. What? If you stand in front of the saw, it hurts just a little bit. What? I know, it sounds crazy, right? I know. Mixing up the stuff. Going to the mat. Going to the mat. You have fun mining, sir. I'm going to keep multitasking. 
modded stuff. You can go in there. Uh, what else do I not super duper need on me right now? So it was uh, quartz is below Y200 or y above Y200? Quartz uh, is sorry, below y 20. Low 20, all right. So like you'll notice um, there's a, a spot that I dug like right in front of the stairwell that you dug down with the cobblestone. Um, that's, I might move this thing. If I can't bring the water to the wood I'd basin. I've already gotten down to bedrock, so. I will bring the wood basin to water. Nice. Yeah, so just as long as you're below 20, you'll find black quartz. So let's do this here-ish, and then I can do that. So this will be at least be enough for my first. Also fortune. finding cave systems. What's that? Found cave systems down here too. Oh, that's really good. That, that, that you'll probably have a better chance of finding. So. Yeah, there's a lot of force down here now. Mine's so much faster than the geologist's mine, uh, ores. What, quartz? Yeah. Yeah, it's really like, I don't know, I, I'd be interested to see, like, what is causing that little bit of lag that it seems to occur. I don't want, wow, well, four more? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Do we need clay? Uh, it never hurts to take anything. All right, so while that's cooking up more, and I'll take this, so we have two of those. I can then take my, didn't I give me? Well, so far I've got 28 black quartz. Nice, dude. And I'm making that sentient sword that I described to you earlier. Is that something I can make too? If you want. If you plan to do blood magic will collecting. Uh, that sounds like a tedious task, so it sounds like something you're going to ask me to do. No, I was going to go do it myself right now. Do we need a lot of will? So the sentient sword does six hearts of damage by default, um, but as you collect more will, it'll do more, which is cool. Um, so what I'll probably do, so that's 3.3 .3 will is what I currently have. I want to just, I'll probably just wait for nighttime, or I could go to that scary dimension. Yeah, go to the scary dimension. We will go through the scary door. What could happen? Probably a lot. A lot could happen. All the flesh. And clay, apparently. Seven point two nine will excellent. And fortune's a nice thing to get on this thing, but I don't foresee myself getting that too soon. Yeah, I kind of feel like where we don't even have iron yet. I doubt we're gonna get fortune anyway. Just saying. I'm playing literally like 10 skeletons. You didn't like it, guys. I like everything. That is a lie. That is also true. Okay, not bad, not bad. Uh, we're up to 19 will. Awesome. 41 black quartz. I can get a stack, I'd be happy. Yep, 
Yay, regeneration. Those creepers apparently when you um also totemic gotta change. The the totem poles, they actually like like look like the animal that you carve into them. It's cool. Yeah, I noticed that. Oh nice, my ascension sword's up to seven damage already. That's awesome. I'm just gonna get a little bit more will, just to, you know. I'm actually just gonna leave dudes and go back home. Are you world ending out of curiosity? Bahi. No, I'm not world genning. Okay, just asking. All right, so next up, let's make the astral sorcery paper that we need. So that stuff should have dried in the time that I went and got that well stuff, which is cool. Um, now you're at. Looks like you're probably gonna max out at fifty will. Um, You, I'm here you. to Gru a lot. Yeah, they they are hurtful, the Gru. Well, he is grumpy. I mean, can you blame him? I can understand his grumpiness. Are you saying you're a Gru? No. I'm just saying that <laughs> were I a Gru, I would understand where he's coming from. So, unrelated to Minecraft, I want to ask you something. Uh-oh. How long do you think it is an appropriate time to not discuss spoilers on a new movie? Uh, if you're talking about Infinity War, I would say that time has not yet expired. Oh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to say any spoilers. Like, I'm not getting into that. But recently at work, there was some discussion about um, how long you should wait before you, like, feel like comfortable casually talking about movies that people may not have seen that have all like twists and so so what i would say is that um probably six months um or maybe six even months yeah or maybe like some people don't get to go to the theater so like maybe wait for it to come out on dvd and give them a reasonable time frame to watch it on dvd like, when was the last time you bought a dvd uh i'm frequently but i mean like the point Why, that i'm making still, is like you still have your blockbuster card uh, i do not um but so what I would say is, like, if you're in a group of people, you should clearly say, like, by the way, has anybody seen it yet before we discuss spoilers? Or, like, is anybody concerned about spoilers? Like, I would just drop that in the conversation, but I don't know. Like, in a, like if you're asking for a specific time frame, I don't know, like, I'd say, like, a decent amount of time just to make sure. Especially if it's a big one like Infinity War. Yeah, so the general consensus that we had was about two to four weeks. Okay. Look what I did. You, you made a book. Yeah. I found another cave system. Cool. Plant cloth and three aquamarine. So that is... It would appear to be nine of those, but like the combined ones already? Wow. I did another thing. Yay! Discovery section! Woot! Get hyped for astral sorcery. So now we can find like constellations and stuff? Yes. And they buff us? Uh, there's all kinds of things. Um, so what I'm going to need is reinforced slates, which, wow, is a tier three? Excuse me, hang on a minute. That makes no sense to me. That makes literally no sense to me. Do we have the capability to get... To, well, I guess we could get to a tier 3. Alter by now. Yeah, technically we can get to a tier 3. There's no reason we can't. Right? My thought is that since they seem to be, like, gating mods into ages, that we will be done blood magic before we go into the next age. I do not... That, that's definitely not true. We will be mostly nope. progressed. Nope. No, sir. No? No, uh, and the reason I say that is because I'm looking at what we have access to in Blood Magic, and it is maybe a, a, a fifth of the mod, I would say. So um, we really we, we don't even have access to um, that much of the mod right now. 
So if I want a tier three altar, oh boy, it's been a while since I've done a tier three altar. Um, blood magic altar. I uh, just want to like reference like tier one versus tier two again. Um, so tier two needs eight runes. Uh, tier three needs 20 additional right, runes. I'm just getting the last of this quartz and I'm coming home. Which needs 40 blank slates. And we have 33. Because I've gotten a fair bit of it. Okay. So I need to make seven more blank slates. Do you want to come back in a minute? Um, sure, that sounds like a plan. Because I'm just making very boring stuff. So we're right back. What's up, bro? I'm back. I got Yay. my uh, black quartz being ground up by a horse. Cool. I ended up with almost two stacks. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna need a bit more smooth stone, but then I'm gonna be good to go uh, with this altar thingy. We have so many cows. Right? Is that what the pig totem does? Is it increases their breed? Uh, no, the pig totem, I believe, gives you luck. Okay. Um, and my thought, so so a lot of people commented that it only affects your fishing luck. But then other people commented and said, no, it's dropping more than one or two items at a time when you're near it, so it does increase your luck. So some people have said, yes, it increases your your, for, your like fortune-style luck, and, and other people said, no, it doesn't. So I don't know, but I built that before people said it doesn't work, so I just left it there because it's not going to hurt anything. Word. Yeah. So there's a couple other totem effects, but they're all pretty short range, so. So you and you and. We're getting there, dudes. So I will have, um, about 10 more to do and that shouldn't be bad uh, we are getting close to the wrapping up point though buddy yeah we are um do you want i want to start mapping out where my altar is going to be so if we're going to get to a tier 5 altar eventually or maybe even a tier 6 i don't know what they're going to require um it, it's a pretty large area of effect it's like 23 by 23 by 9 for a tier 6 and 17 by 17 for a tier 5. So like let's map out for a tier 5 here. I doubt we're going to be getting to a I doubt we're going to be getting to a tier 6 anytime soon. So like if I if I wanted to center it here-ish, right? Um, let's do that actually. 8 9 10 How big 11, is this thing going to be? Uh, he says as I'm counting. Uh, it's going to be 17 by 17 by 7. Wow. Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to rethink where I want to put our house. If you're gonna put it there. Yep. This is where I was thinking of putting it. I can put it elsewhere though, but tell me now. Eight. I mean... I can move this. It's not that big a deal. I mean, that's fine. Okay. Ish. Okay. I can work with it. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. I'm probably going to lay out the foundation for the new house between episodes. Okay. Because I just made everyone watch me mine black quartz for an episode. Oh. Right. Do you want to sleep? All right, let's go kill me? stuff. What's up? Lightning just struck over here. Come on. Uh, that, that doesn't always, like, oh. it sometimes just strikes lightning and that's it. Okay, well, there's a bear here, so... Yeah, kill that. Also, it he is at full power, so what you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to break the Cthulhu statue so that it doesn't summon bad things Thanks anymore. for just, like, low-key ignoring the bear. I'm sorry, I thought you could handle a bear. This is the man with the fancy bow. Don't you have one? No, we haven't done that yet. Oh, you should do that. That's pretty nice. So, I'm thinking what I'll do... Oh, that's right.
I'm going to put the Cthulhu statue in the Necronomicon right next to the energy pedestal because it's the statue that summons the lightning and bad things. But yeah, we have to wrap up the episode. So I'm going to map out what's going to be the Tier 5 altar. Um, and we'll come back next episode and maybe build a Tier 3 altar um, in the space that we designate. And we'll, um, or maybe I'll build it between episodes. I don't know. And then we'll we'll um, we'll make the things we need for actual sorcery progression. Sound cool? That's cool. All right. Delta, signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy. Bye-bye.